We're gonna continue working on our crocodile puppet and we have the back is made out of a woven piece of uh, paper and we've already done some marble painting that we've used that we're gonna use for this. So the way we're gonna set up our loom is first we're gonna fold in half, line those corners up, and then you're going to fold over just a little bit about an inch and it's going to be just like when we did our snakes in the sawgrass you're just going to cut up to the fold and stop there so i'm going to come in cut up to the fold and stop all right so here's our last one and there's our loom so then the top and the bottom won't fall apart take some strips of brown paper and I'm going to weave those. So I'm going to start making this pattern and we want this to be, it'll end up looking a little bit like a checkerboard. So I'm going to go over and under, over and under. Every other one is going to be like this and then we're gonna push down. You can let these hang out and I'll, we'll trim those later. So the next one has to be opposite. So you're gonna go underneath and then over. Oh, I got one stuck there. Here's the beginning of that checkerboard. Now, if you get to here and you realize this looks the same, you can go back and see, oh, we went underneath these two and we didn't keep our pattern. You see, that's not gonna work for a weaving. So I'm gonna go back, pull it out, and I'm gonna come up this way. All right, same thing, keep going the opposite way. Okay, so this will probably be my last one. I might be able to get one or two in there. All right, looks like we have room for one more, and this is gonna be a little tricky. You just kinda of gotta be careful and be patient. Sometimes you have to flip over and get that. Okay, now I'll take a bottle of glue and I'm gonna lift these up and I'm gonna put one dot underneath each one. There we go. One there. And I'm going to turn it this way. Now 
Okay, then I turn it over. And I'm gonna wait for this to dry for a few minutes. When it's dry, I can just take scissors and trim off these extra pieces so it's completely rectangular.